Um, I'm just going to read you a bit of the Bible first. Um, So this is from Mark 2, verses 23 to 27. It says, One Sabbath, Jesus was going through the grain fields, and as his disciples walked along, they began to pick some heads of grain. The Pharisees said to them, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He answered, Have you never read what David did when he and his companions were hungry and in need? And in the days of Abiathar, the high priest, he entered the house of God and ate the consecrated bread, which is lawful only for priests to eat. And he also gave some to his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. to the game of life, the game show that sorts the living from the losing. My name is Hannah, religious Hannah that is, and I will be your host for this evening. Welcome to week one. Yeah, this crowd. So, um, before we start, I think we need to do a bit of a buzzer check. Team one. Perfect. Taskmasters, great team name. These are our reigning champions, everyone. They've outdone themselves, always doing the right thing, always following the rules. Well done, Taskmasters. Give it up for them. And here on my left, buzzer check, please. (laughs) Fabulous. This team here on my left, the gracious resters. You guys do sure look like you're having a rest. Well, we'll see how that goes for them. All right, now the aim of this game is to honour God. Simple? Maybe. Everyone got it? Well then, let's go. Our first topic, round one, love. Whose love? God's love. Well, (laughs) question one, what are three reasons why God sent his son to die on the cross for us? It's easy, man. He loved us and he wanted us, he wanted to restore the relationship between us and him and he wanted to rid us of all of our sin. Um, yeah. Team two, um, you need to buzz in, actually. So I've just heard um, from upstairs, you guys are disqualified from yes. that round, not following the rules. We'll move on to question two. Why does God instruct us to do things or not do things? <laughs> Taskmasters. Because he's God. Because he made the rules. And he wants control. Correct. Um, excuse me. Um, excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Religious Hannah, isn't it, isn't it because he loves us and wants what's best for us? No. Um, I think you've missed the point of round two. Um, team two, sit. Please. <laughs> Again, the rules. Guys, moving right along. This is now our quick fire round. You need to answer three questions in 20 seconds in order to pass. I will inform you if the answer is correct after you have buzzed in, after you have buzzed in. (laughs) The topic for today is the Sabbath. Here we go. What is the Sabbath? (laughs) Taskmasters. A day of rest. Correct. What are we not to do on the Sabbath? (laughs) Taskmasters. Work. Harvest the fields, lift a heavy load. Or walk more than 2,000 meters. Correct, correct, correct. And why do we not do these things? <laughs> Taskmasters. We have to live by the law. It's unholy. God's going to judge us. And God made the rules. Ding, 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 ding. Do you really think we need to do these things to honour God on the Sabbath? I mean, um, do you really yes. think those are reasons yes. why yes. the Sabbath was made? Wasn't the first round on God's love? Why have you made it all about the rules? Mm. Was not the Sabbath made for man, not man for the Sabbath? Game over. Game, go. Well, this is awkward. I'm um, sorry, everyone. It appears we're having a few um, technical difficulties. Um, we'll cut to that ad break. All right, and we'll see you back again. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know what's happening. Now, guys, I'm sure you can see that the taskmasters just really didn't get the point. 
Um, just like the Pharisees in the, um, the part of the Bible that I read earlier. They were all about the rules, um, what they were, how we follow them, and about how following a set list of criteria is what makes us good people and people who are right with God. Even the host, religious Hannah, who was meant to understand what it was to honour God, had missed the purpose that it's not about anything we can do, but it's about what God has done. And they instead decided to focus on all the rules. Now, Hannah and the taskmasters had all turned the Sabbath, which was a blessing given to us by God, into a burden. Now, taking the time to rest shows that we are putting our trust in God. You might be having a busy week at school and assignments are piling up and you can't possibly have time to spend reading the Bible or being reflective or even taking the time to wind down and recharge. But doing what you can to honour God, not only in your work, but also in your rest, um, is what he calls us to do. Not because we're bound by a set of rules that tells us how we should or should not rest, but because you know it's good not to rely on your own strength and have faith in God your provider. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not bad to work, but it is bad to not rest. So I challenge you guys to think about the way you spend your free time. God calls us to rest, but should we only do this because he tells us and we should follow the rules? Or because we accept his gift of grace and acknowledge that he knows what's best for us and that he loves us? Um, Would you pray with me? Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, we come before you tonight to thank you for all you have done for us, for sending your Son to die for our sins once and for all, and for the gift of your grace. We thank you that you give us guidance for how to live a life that pleases you, and we pray that you would help us to do what you ask because of the love we have for you and not because we think we have to follow a set of rules. Please keep us safe tonight, we pray, Lord, and open our hearts and minds to hear what you have to say to us in pods. In your son's name, amen.